Hello there guys, this is just a quick cut in before the video starts, just to add in that cutscene that broke in the previous episode. I just decided I'd record the cutscene as a secondary clip and then put it before the video starts, so enjoy. <laughs> Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> With a tommy gun on my keyring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Not just yet, then. Aha! Uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. We're in the next level now. This being Venice. This one is a little bit different to the previous one because there's a lot more enemies. And a lot of them are a lot more aggressive. And they're people, rather than just animals. Yeah. Okay, please just, you know, yeah. Typical, I jumped too far and then I end up in the water. There we go. Right, now, as we continue through this series, there'll be a lot more puzzles to complete, a lot more obnoxious tasks. This one being one of the more annoying ones. There is a way to make this task a little bit shorter, though, if you go out here and you jump in here. You don't have to do it twice. Because there's something in here you've got to press. Which, you got to come in here anyway. But if you can save time by coming in here first, you don't have to go in here twice, only once. This being Venice, it is flooded. So, that means there's a lot of water. Luckily they don't make you swim through it all. You have to, you, you can get a boat. And actually the boat is necessary for a for a sneaky trap at the end of the level. That if you're not, if you don't know it exists, you'll be caught out by it. Neat little feature there is Lara can actually shoot through windows. And another neat little feature, her shotgun kills enemies in two hits, which, well, it kills normal enemies in two hits, other enemies die in one, some take a lot more than that. There are certain enemies in this game will actually just tank bullets, it's kind of a little bit painful. Like, there's going to be one in a few levels time that's going to cause me some serious problems. So, that'll be problematic to deal with. But yeah. So now, we have to head across here. And that switch in there just opened this door over here that we have to go into, because there's a lever in here that pulls, that opens this wooden door down below. Now 
Now because we because we killed that guy on that balcony, we got the key for this boathouse. If we didn't kill him, or we didn't know to go get the key from him, we'd have had to go back up again to get the key to get the boat out of here. And because we've opened the boathouse, we also get a chance to receive a new item as well. Because you see, by by opening the boathouse door, a another enemy appears out here. If we kill him, we get a new weapon of him. Obviously, we don't get his gun. That would be good. That would be a good one to have, because it's quite powerful. There he is. But no, we don't get that one. We don't get the, uh, you know, James Bond gun, but we do get these automatic pistols. So, yeah, they're quite nice to have. And now we can head in here. It is quite dark in here, so I'm gonna open. A f I'm gonna get a flare out. And there's a sneaky little bit here that contains a secret. It also contains a shortcut to the next zone, the next area, but if I go down there, it means I don't get to go through here, and I don't get the next secret, which is located beyond at the end of this tunnel. Well, actually it's this tunnel. Down this bit. Because you see, if I swim down here, there it is. There's the next secret. So I can grab that, head back up. Hop in the boat. And then because I got the secret from that end, I don't have to go crawling into this, uh, into this side space to pick it up there instead. I can instead go straight over here, jump out of the boat and swim down because located down here somewhere, if I can see what I'm doing, yep, there, is ammo for another weapon that we're going to get a hold of soon which is also quite fancy even more powerful than the previous weapon we just received okay let's hop out here grab my regular pistols out because the thing is other weapons that aren't your pistols use up ammo so you don't want to use them if you don't have to unfortunately Fortunately, you can pick up ammo for your weapons from a lot of different places. I'm just going to let that flare burn out because I don't need it. And then, oh, okay, before I pull that lever, actually, I'm going to hop in the boat. And once again, a time saver. I'm going to jump out while the boat's moving so it, so it continues into there. Because what... So I let the boat go in there, and then I can pull this, and again it saves time, because that lever there will close these doors and allow this space in here to fill with water, allowing me to pull this underwater lever here. Now the obnoxious part is, if you didn't, um, if you didn't do that, Okay, there's music out here. I hope it plays well, because I do actually like the music in this area. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Mm. 
Okay, now there are some secret things that you can get in this level. Or there's some sneaky things that try to pretend to be secrets. But they're not. I'm not going to go to those because they are they're, they're, they pretend to be secrets. So I'm not going to bother with them. Okay, so in here is another lever. And this one opens a small door here. Which is one of the sneaky which is one of the sneaky areas. They pretend to be secrets. I'm not going to care about them because there's no point. So heading through to the next area down here. We see we head past that sneaky door there. And we continue here. Now in there is the access for the end of the level. But I'm not going there yet, I'm going to head up here. Smash through that window. Okay. I may try to sort out a few things downstairs. I think I bed up. Located in this upper section here that I break through is the third and final secret. So if I just shoot through this, oh yeah, that's a funny glitch, by the way. If you yourself or one of your personal items does not pass through a window, that window does not break. I think it's either got to be a bullet or you yourself has got to pass through the window for it to break. It's kind of weird. So now we're going to continue back around here again. Again, past the sneaky door. And head up to here. Now, located in here, yep, he's already shooting at me. Located in here is another guy. I'm going to use a small med pack here. I'm going to need it. I don't want to take the boat in there because it'll get stuck. So I'm just going to leave the boat right here. Jump out right there. Grab number three and shoot this guy down. I think that's him toast. There we go. So now I swim over here. Now, this room has a special factor with it. The door over there has just closed. This button on, on the wall here, wherever it is, uh, there. This button here opens the door at the clock tower. Now, the sneaky part is, if you walk out, if you walk out over that platform that I came in from, over there, the bell will ring and the door will close. You have got to swim under the door in order to get out of there without chiming the bells. The door will then reopen. So now that I'm back out here, Charge up the ramp again, straight through, like that, and then make my way round the other side of this area. Smash through these long boats, and hopefully jump into the other boat. I got it. I don't know. If, yeah, I blew up the uh, things as well, and now we can charge straight through to the end of the level. There's no cutscene for this one, so there's no stupid mistakes caused by tigers or anything. And we can move on to the next level nice and easily. That being Marco Bartoli's hideout. Where I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, this has been Delphin. I will see you guys next time. Take care.